over years and years of experience, I've come to learn and have become wise to the fact that if you get to know a person for years and that person is not being truthful, is not being fair, is not being respectful towards you. And they become uncomfortable being around you. Understand, and I learned this, understand that it's not you, it's that person. If that person unfriend you, block you, unfollow you after years of friendship, it's probably because of the fact that being around you exposes their secrets. They cannot hide and lie and be deceitful around you. Your energy, your aura, the way you carry yourself exposes evil, exposes deceit. And if you find that you have become friends with people whether it be a family member or not. If you've known this person and it comes a time when they block you from their social media, it's because of the fact that your energy is light and their energy is darkness. And light and darkness cannot operate in the same space at the same time. Not that I know of. Because if I turn off the light in the room, it's going to get dark. And if I put some light in it, it won't be dark anymore. So it can't be dark and light at the same time. And what I find from my experience is that my energy, who I am, the vibrational level to which I operate on, it can draw some people close to me and it can make some people hate me. Why? The ones who draw closer to me are the awakened ones, are the ones that are true and genuine. The ones that fall away, let them fall away. Because they were not genuine, they were not your friends, they were not real family to begin with. And a person like me will eventually find out the truth. The energy in which I operate in sometimes automatically lets me know when I'm in the presence of someone, if they are being truthful and genuine or they are being deceitful. And I cannot specifically point out what they're being deceitful about or what secrets they're keeping or what lies they're telling, but I know that something isn't right. And my spirit will haunt me and I will not rest until I get to the bottom of it and find out the truth. 
And when I find out the truth from my experience is when I gain peace to know that I'm not crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not insecure. I'm not jealous. I'm not afraid. I'm not a warmonger. I like peace. I like love. I like happiness. I love joy. For me and everyone around me. But if you are around me in my circle, in my life, whether you're my sister, you're my cousin, you're my auntie, you're my child, you're my mate, whoever it may be, my energy will start to expose whatever is negative that is around me. That's from my experience. And until I get to the bottom of why my energy is feeling that way towards that person, I do not rest. But once I find out the truth, which I knew from the beginning, but the person or people were being deceitful and lying and being unfair, being disrespectful, Crossing boundaries. Trying to get me to, to, to stoop to their level of life. Their level of existence. Their level of, of, of mental uh, um, thinking. They want me to stoop to their level of, of, of spiritual vibration. And I have passed through that spiritual vibration already. I'm on a higher level of spiritual vibration. And, and, and this is not something I'm making up. I'm not crazy. You can get to a higher spiritual vibration by actually educating yourself and learning the truth and, and being one with nature and having a spiritual life and meditating. It will take you to, and, and going through life and having experiences that teaches you wisdom that you learn from. The wisdom that you gain take you to a higher level, a higher vibrational level. To where you can be in a room with people and, can, and you can sit down and have a conversation with somebody that you have never met before. And you can tell when that person is lying to you and when they're telling you the truth. So if you're not going to be real, you're not going to be genuine. You're not going to come with love and peace. You're not going to come with respect and dignity. If you're not going to come with character. If you're not going to come with spirituality about you. If you're not going to come with some wisdom and understanding and education and intelligence. If you're not going to come with selflessness. If you're not going to come. If you're not going to come with these things, then it's not going to be easy to be around me. You will be annoyed by me. I will get on your nerves. I will make you sick. Because you're on a different vibrational level than I am. And this energy, this spirit is probably too strong. And I'm keeping it real. This is my experience that I'm speaking from. If you are not going to come with communication skills, intelligence, if you're not emotionally intelligent, my spirit is going to pick up on all of that.
I don't need to hire any private investigator to find out if a person is real. My spirit will lead me and guide me to the truth. And that's my experience. And for those who I have exposed because they have lied to me, they have been deceitful to me and I have exposed it. If they choose to block me, if they choose to unfollow me, if they choose to, to, to block my phone number and not call me and not deal with me, I'm okay with that. Because if the two of us are not on the same vibrational level or that person is not trying to uh, um, build themselves to a higher vibrational level in order for us to, 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 to properly exist together, whether it be friends, family or whatever, if you're not willing to work on bringing yourself to a, a higher vibrational level in order for us to, to be more compatible in our friendship, then we don't have a friendship and I'm okay with that. I'm a, I'm at peace with that. I'm not losing anything. If anything, the person is losing out on me. Because I have a lot to offer. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, intelligence wise, business wise. And I'm not saying all of this because I'm bragging. I'm saying all of it because I've worked hard all these years for what I have. And for what I know. And for my intelligence. I have the schooling to prove it. I've taken psychology classes and studied the mind of humans. I've taken sociology classes. I've taken business classes, medical classes. I'm a caregiver by trade. So I'm supposed to, all of my senses are supposed to be heightened above the average person because I'm a caregiver. I have to study people of all colors, nature, uh, uh, um, um, young, old babies. So if I have this spiritual vibration that I'm operating in, it's also because I'm a caregiver by nature. All of my senses are heightened. So if I know how to deal with my patients and I know when my patient is lying to me and when they're telling me the truth, I have to decide when a patient is, 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 is having a, 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 a illusion and, and is speaking like they have a, um, Alzheimer's or something. It's like I have to know how to pick up on all kind of signs when it comes to human beings as a caregiver. I have to be able to communicate with people that can't even communicate. So my level of spirituality and, and cognitive skills, my ethics, my values are at a, at a higher level than some of the people that I'm, that's in my circle. So for those who think I'm strange or for those who think I'm crazy, or for those who think I'm insecure or jealous. No, I am in my right mind and I know what I'm doing. I know who I am. And I am the girl, the woman, the goddess, Jata Marie, the goddess. I am the woman that will walk in the room and everybody else will see the big elephant in the room. And I am the only one will be screaming out. Don't y'all see this big elephant in the room? I will expose it. I cannot be around it. If it's deceitful, if it's evil, if, if. I'm speaking my truth. I'm speaking my truth. And I'm not holding my tongue.
And I know there's other people out here experiencing the same thing. And there's people around them who argue with them and, and make them feel like they're crazy and, and they're making things up and they want to start an argument all the time and they're confused and something's wrong with you. No, there's nothing wrong with you if you're on a higher vibrational level like what I'm talking about in this video. People don't like you because you expose their secrets. You bring their darkness to light. That's why they're uncomfortable around you. Anyone who's genuine wouldn't be uncomfortable around you. Wouldn't unfriend you. Wouldn't block your number. Oh yeah, this goes on every day in households all across America and the world. People doing this all the time. And the awakened ones, the ones who are using their third eye and gaining knowledge, understanding, and wisdom while the others are stuck in their lower vibrational level and they think that they're okay, which is foolish. A wise man would never say he's perfect. That's not wise. A wise man knows that he has faults and he acknowledges them when he is wrong. He takes responsibility for his actions. He does not put off his actions or mistakes on other people. He own up to his mistakes and he tried to change his ways or her ways. Because this can go for a man or woman. Doesn't matter. It can go for man or woman. If you are uncomfortable about being around me and being friends with me, then there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me. I know what my faults are. I know how to apologize when I have made a mistake. That's called humbleness and humility. That's, that's, that's putting down your pride and picking up your wisdom and realizing that it's okay to say you're sorry if you made a mistake. Just learn from that mistake and try not to make that same mistake again. That's what a person on a high vibrational level do. A person on a low vibrational level, they will always blame you for their mistakes. They will always blame you for attacking. They will always blame you for them attacking you. Whether it be verbal, emotional, mental, physical. They will always turn it around on you and blame you. They always say there's nothing wrong with them. That they're good. They don't need any help. They don't need to change anything. And they swear that you're trying to change them. Because you are bringing to light these characteristics about them. That is going to destroy them. In the long run, if they don't change their ways, you're trying to show them that 
This has nothing to do with you controlling them. You're speaking through your vibrational level and your spirit is telling you what to say to this person. And your spirit is saying, give this person this message. Let them know that they're going down the wrong road and they're, they're going, they need to try to do this in order to improve and that in order to improve. Sometimes we can't see our own faults and sometimes someone can come along and, and, and help you in a way where they're not trying to control you. They just see that you can do better. You can reach higher. You can accomplish more. And you, it's like you're stuck in one mode, one level. And you say you're okay there and you're happy there. And everything is good there. You're comfortable there. You don't want to get out of your comfort zone. You don't want to come out of the box. And here I am, the higher vibrational level, who is a caregiver. I have to think outside the box. I have to think uh, um, um, on a broad scale because that's part of being a caregiver. So I'm a free spirit. I'm thinking of higher level. Once I reach the one level and I have mastered that, I'm ready to go to the next level. That's just how my spirit work. I'm not comfortable just being stuck on one level. But some people are and they are okay with themselves right there. They're happy with themselves right there. They're content with that. They don't see themselves the way we or I see that person. And they feel like you're trying to control them. When in actuality, if they had a spiritual life, if they meditated on a regular basis, if they learned how to feed their mind with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, they would be able to recognize when a spirit is speaking through me or through a person to give them a message about their life that could elevate them to a higher level. I'm not crazy. I'm become I'm becoming one of the awakened ones. And the ones that are on a lower level than me are annoyed by me. They're annoyed by my intelligence. They're annoyed by my, my knowledge. They don't have anything in common with me. It's uncomfortable to be around me because you can't hold a conversation on the level that I like to hold a conversation. You don't like to be around me because I'm very observant and I watch everything and pay attention to everything and study everything. I'm a caregiver. I'm supposed to. I study everyone and everything around me. I'm supposed to. I'm a caregiver. That's what a patient care technician do. It's a part of me. I'm a nurturer by nature because I'm a woman. I have a womb. So by nature, I'm nurturing, I'm caring, I'm loving. I was built for love. Any woman that carries a child in her womb was built for love. It takes love, unconditional love to actually go and get yourself pregnant and carry a child in your womb, two, three, four children in your womb. That's love. I was, I was created for that, to love and be loved. So how can anybody be around me and, and not be, not be loved and happy and cared for? 
How could you be uncomfortable around a nurturer? How could you be uncomfortable around a caregiver that's well known for years in the community that have all kind of awards and medals? My instructors speak highly of me. My patients speak highly of me. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it's the spiritual level and the, the, the person that I am. So if you are uncomfortable about being around me, you need to be uncomfortable about being around me. Because I eventually I'm going to expose whatever it is that you are holding on to that's destructive to your life and to your being because it can become toxic to me if you keep coming around me with it. If you want to live like that and be on that vibrational level, fine. But I cannot dwell and be and live with that. I cannot exist and have a relationship with a sister or a friend or, or whoever with that kind of toxicity because we're not on the same vibrational level. And it's going to constantly be a tug of war back and forth constantly. Because that, that level is fighting to hold on to that because that's where they're comfortable. And this, this vibration is, is, is trying to get them out of that and, and get them to, to, to get on the road to a higher vibrational level. And it's a constant tug of war. It can get exhausting. The spirit gets weary and tired of it. And for what? Because I was given a gift. Because I'm trying to help those around me with my gift. With my with my with my my talents, my abilities. I have perfect attendance at my school. Why? I strive to have perfect attendance. Why am I always on time? Why do I hate it when somebody make me late? I don't like to be late for work. I don't like to be late for school. If I'm punctual and I show up to a job every day on time for 10 months, 12 months, eventually that employer who is employing me will see that I am dedicated, that I am reliable. And one day I can walk into that job and my employer can say to me, Miss Vernon, I am going to elevate you to supervisor because I have been watching you for a whole year. And you have been here every day on time when you were scheduled to work. And we need someone like you because managers need to be here in order to manage the other staff members. We need somebody to be here on time and someone reliable. There's a way to elevate by perfecting certain characteristics in your life. You never know who is watching you and studying you. And they might be studying you to elevate you, not to control you. And this is Marie's message for today.